Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install WordPress on an open Lightspeed web server, and we're gonna be doing this with a DigitalOcean droplet. It's pretty much one click, but after that happens, we're gonna go through some of the extra options, um, some configurations and whatnot. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I'm here at my DigitalOcean dashboard, and I'm gonna come up here and create a new droplet. So click on that. And then we're gonna come over to the Marketplace tab. And when that loads, we're gonna search for Open Light Speed. And we have a lot of options here, um, but we're gonna be working with WordPress today. And let's go down and we're gonna do a basic plan. We're just gonna pick the basic $5 per month plan. Feel free if you need more resources uh, to pick a higher plan. And we're gonna pick, um, we're gonna pick San Francisco since I'm in Arizona right now. And everything else looks good as far as I'm concerned. The only other thing I'm gonna change is just associate it with a different project. Just to say a little bit organized, and then I'm gonna create that droplet. So this process doesn't usually take too long. Um, just this bar has to get over here to the right hand side. But what we can do a while is look in here. We got an IP address, so that's good. So I'm gonna copy that and in anticipation of logging in, I'm gonna open up a terminal window and type in SSH root at that IP address. Now something that um, I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna open up uh, my, a place where I have domain names and I'm gonna associate a domain name with this IP address while that's loading. So I'm just gonna log in here to Namecheap, which is where I get uh, some of my domain names from. And I'm gonna pick down here site4.xyz, go into the DNS settings and type in that IP address. Well, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of um, most of these. So I'm gonna get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Okay, so let's, change the A records to this IP address and save them. And this will take some time to update, but hopefully um, by the time this is done loading, we can see that that is good to go. So let's let's go ahead and check the DNS propagation for that. I'm just gonna go to the propagation checker. So site 4.xyz, let's see if it has that IP address. And um, it does, so I think we're good to go. And that actually means since this is already ready to go, we don't even have to log in with the IP address. We can log in with the domain name, but feel free to log in with the IP if you don't have a domain name. So go ahead, uh, do this. And are we sure you wanna continue? Yes. And let's see. Okay, so we're logged in. This is our first login and um, it's still booting up it looks like, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. All right, so it's asking for our domain name. I'm gonna say site4.xyz and hit enter. And yes, this is right, so we'll type Y, hit enter. And let's see what's going on. Do you wish to issue a less encrypt SSL certificate? Yes, we do. It's free. It automatically renews. We want the www and the non www version. So I'm going to type in my email, Tony at Tony Teaches Tech. Hit enter. That looks good to me. Why? Hit enter. And now it's going to go ahead and verify that we own that domain name. It's going to issue the certificate, install it for us, and redirect all traffic. Um, right here from HTTP to HTTPS, Y for yes, hit enter, and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and check out the website. So we'll get out of the terminal window, come up here, open a new tab, go to site4.xyz, and we should have the WordPress installer. So this will be really quick. We'll just go through this here. The site title is gonna be, just call it site4, username, Tony, password, password. We'll just leave it. Don't, don't, don't do this, pick a, pick a strong password. And I'm gonna put Tony at Tony Teaches Tech for my email and install WordPress. Okay, we're moving right along here. After this, we should have a, a good working version of WordPress on open light speed. So I'm gonna log in here to the admin dashboard. And the one thing I wanna show you in here, yes, we know the passwords week. <laughs> um, so we, we start with a couple plugins. Um, not sure why they, they do this. I don't know if this is a DigitalOcean thing. Uh, it must be, but what I recommend doing is 
clicking all of these to get rid of all of them, except for the Lightspeed Cache plugin, which is going to be some of what makes this so good. Um, so we're going to keep that one, but get rid of all the other ones and go ahead. And what we want to do is, uh, since they're not active, we could just delete them, hit apply, OK. And then we're just left with that one plugin, which there's a new version, so we can update that. Very good. Um, and then when that's done, we're going to look at that. But let's go ahead and just see what the website looks like. Site4.xyz. It's the basic 2020 theme here. Uh, you know, the, the sample blog posts, sample comments, all that stuff. Um, so that's good. Now, what should we do first? Let's look at this plugin. This is um, what's going to help with caching and all that stuff. So by default, all of that stuff is turned on. We got uh, we got caching, caching for logged in users, um, caching the API. This is what makes the, the integration between um, the web server. Well, the web server itself is like phenomenal compared to nginx and apache but um the caching is what helps um, make this such a fast popular web server it's up and coming it's it's not that it hasn't caught on just yet but i can see that being the case so you have lots of options in here uh, we're not going to go through them we'll save that for another video uh, but just know that that's here um, what i do want to do is show you the 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 back end that the dashboard, not the WordPress dashboard, but the web server dashboard for open light speed that you can access. And that is accessible in your terminal window. Um, I mean, it's actually accessible at your domain name colon 7080, but by default, the installation, as you can see, it's just spinning here. Um, the installation doesn't allow access to that port. So we have to do that manually and we have to get a password as well. So let's, let's show you how to do that. So basically in here, um, we want to first allow access to that port. So we can do that with UFW allow 7080. That's just gonna open up that port. And there we go, that's good. So if we refresh this, hopefully, or maybe we'll open a new tab. So go to site4.xyz colon 7080, hit enter. Oops, that was 7050. <laughs> Try that again. So site4.xyz colon 7080. Eight zero, and we'll get the privacy error. Even though, like we do back here, we do have the SSL certificate installed um, from Let's Encrypt. But for this port on that, we it's okay. Just trust me, it's okay. Um, we can't bypass it in Chrome, but that's okay. We can type in "This is unsafe," and then we'll bypass that. Now, this is where we need to find out what that password is. So the username by default is admin. And again, we're trying to access the Open Lightspeed dashboard. Um, the password, you have to go back to your terminal window here and just look at the, there's a part of the installation, they put this file called um, Lightspeed Password in your root. So that's my password right here. So I'm gonna copy that and come over here and paste that in and hopefully that'll allow us to log in. It does, so this is very cool, this is like, the command center for your website, the web server. So I, as far as, I mean, maybe they do have it, Apache and Nginx, but as far as I know, I've never seen anything built into, um, as, as far as a dashboard to those web servers. But here you can see real-time requests coming in. We'll demonstrate that in a bit. Um, but, you know, we got, um, here, there's, there's a real-time switch. Um, but we got our logs. Um, we can do a lot of different, like we're, I'm not gonna spend any much time in here, but basically basic configuration for the web server can be done in here as opposed to, you know, opening up a terminal window and editing a file, um, the old, old manual way of doing that. You can come in here and just edit those changes. Lots of options, lots of customization that you can, can set in here. Um, but let me just show you um, back on the dashboard like the real time, we have the real time switch on. And we'll go ahead, I'll make this, uh, we'll just open up a new tab here, go to the page speed insights and go to site4.xyz, we'll do HTTPS. So Google is gonna send out some traffic to the website here and we can see that happening. Oops, we can see that happening in real time. So. Fantastic. I know there's not a lot of content on it, but uh, we got a 99 page speed score and you can see some of the traffic coming in here. Um, you know, once you add content, it's going to slow down a little bit, but 
right off the bat, having a 99 for your website is really good. Um, so that's that's that demonstration. Uh, see, we got these couple pages that were coming in from from Google and me going to the web page as well. Um, let me think. Is there anything else I want to show you here? Um, I think we'll keep it we'll keep it short for this video today. If you have any questions about Open Light Speed, configuring it, um, optimizing it, let me know in the comments below. I I do plan on making some more videos surrounding the topic of Open Light Speed, um, so you'll find them over here uh, once I do release them. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, like I said, let me know. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you do, I'll see you in the next video.